to make sense of reality, to make sense of the quantum nature of all the other fundamental constituents of matter and fundamental forces, gravity itself has to be quantum in nature as well because it interacts with everything else which is quantum. We know that waves of gravity do exist in a very similar way that waves of light, which are electromagnetic waves, uh, do exist. In 2015, we were the first direct detection of gravitational waves on Earth, affecting ever so slightly space between mirrors in our instruments, and that spacing, that change of spacing, has been measured. If we were able to dim those gravitational waves as much as we could, we would see that they're just made out of finite, discrete, levels of energy and those levels of energy for gravitational waves of a particular frequency we call those gravitons. Gravitons are the fundamental constituents of gravity, of gravitational waves, just like photons are the fundamental constituents of light, of electromagnetic waves. That is not something we're going to measure right here in this room. It took us a hundred years to even detect gravitational waves. The gravitational waves that we have detected are made out of a huge amount of gravitons, so of the order of 10 to the 44 gravitons. So can you imagine? It's, it's such a beautiful teamwork, if you want. You, you think of those waves and it's really coherent gravitons working together to change the spacing between mirrors in interferometers, which are located kilometers apart by a distance which is less than the size of a proton. Now, in order to prove the quantum nature of gravity, or to prove that gravitons existed, we would need to just look at the effect of one graviton. But we can't. It's not only that we can't technologically, in fact, the effect of a single graviton would go beyond Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So we really are faced with a huge challenge there. And that's why we have to rethink of what it means to proving the quantum nature of gravity or to proving the existence of graviton. There's theories out there that think that at the very beginning of the universe, there were quantum fluctuations of different constituents of everything, in fact, including of gravity. So there were gravitons. And the beauty of them being there at the very beginning of the universe is that some of the things which were completely microscopic and undetectable at the very beginning of the universe got stretched to a point that they may have an imprint in the sky which is observable today. And so there are observations, there are experiments out there that are trying to look for the polarization of light on the cosmic Mercury background to understand if there was such a thing as primordial quantum gravitational waves. Are gravitons real if it comes that we actually can never detect them? Um, it's, it's, it's a good question, I can't, I can't really answer that, but our inability to do something right now doesn't make it unreal. Only recently have we detected gravitational waves and every new detection really takes a long time to take place. The size of our experiments and the size of our development and how to make progress in the questions that we're asking ourselves and the calculations themselves are becoming ever more complicated. It always takes more and more time to make the smallest possible progress. But we are making progress, in fact. Whether the, the actual breakthrough is going to come next year or is going to come in a thousand years, it's, it's really hard to, to say at the moment.